Scott, you'll be happy with the result, of course. But what about the performance this evening? Yeah, I thought we were excellent in both halves. Um, moved the ball quickly, didn't give them a chance to settle into the game. Exactly what I wanted, and um, two very good halves of football and two very good goals. If you look um, in depth at the goals, and just before we scored, uh, I felt it was coming. It was uh, some great wing play. Um, for, for two assists for, for Ryan Brummel, but likewise, um, Sears was, was hungry and he was dangerous, just like uh, he was in the first half. So, message at half time for the boys was keep doing what we're doing because you know it's very good. They haven't had a sniff. I think they had the first attempt maybe 46 minutes in. So, that just showed our dominance in the game, and I, I was really happy overall with how we played. And the patient approach paid off because 56 minutes gone, the deadlock was broken. Yeah, that's right, and uh, nice to see John score. Should be getting more goals, I was telling him. Um, you know, get more shots away and stuff, and he, he says, yeah, I'm uh, you know, trying to pass more and whatever, I'm, but I'm encouraging you know, most of our players to, to get shots away, and it was a good finish, actually. And eight minutes later, Greg Draper made it two. That was a comfortable cushion. It was, and, and when you get that second goal, it, uh, it does give you that little buffer, and it gives you that more, I suppose, time on the ball and, and, and allowing them to come out more, because they have to if, it, if it's 2-0. So. Like I say, some, some really good football tonight. Um, first half, I thought we were, we were just lacking that little bit of a cutting edge. But tiring them down and working them and wearing them out, um, I always knew that it was come second half. So, very pleasing performance when you can sit back and um, you know, allow the players to, to figure out the solutions. We can, we can give it to them in the week and, and tell them how we think they're going to play. But uh, it's up to the players on the night to, to get to grips with the game. And, and they, they did uh, exactly that. And it was another clean sheet as well, so pleased with yeah, that. Very pleased with that, and uh, just as pleasing to score your goals, obviously, to get clean sheets and um, you know keep that average down of uh, goals we're conceding. I think that's what 20 goals we've conceded, so or 21. Um, and along with that, continue 11 games to go, and let's see how many clean sheets we can get from now to the end of the season. And although Connors Key had a game in hand, of course, the New Saints is now four points clear at the top of the table. Yeah, and, and that was the that was the carrot tonight, you know, with Connors Key not playing. Um, and a tough game tomorrow. Um, anything can happen there, Barry. Um, Barry on their day there have been very good going to Connors Key, so who knows, but carry on uh, looking after ourselves like we usually do. Um, one game at a time. And, uh, it's obviously a big game next week, so looking forward to that one. You were in the same team with him as a player, you know his manager. Paul Harrison tonight made 400 league starts for the New Saints. Yeah, excellent. And I um, told the boys before the game, you know, at any level when you play 400 games for one club, it's, um, it's an excellent achievement. You know, people knock our, um, our domestic, our national league, but um, it's one that's getting stronger and just shows the, the character of, of the person, of the player, to play that many games, to, to be um, ever-present as well. For so many years and to play so many games so um, excellent excellent player excellent person and um, you know very pleased for them to, to get to that milestone that was his 400th start this evening for TNS he has to beat 481 if he's to make the goalkeeping record but he's still going strong and looking likely he is age is just the number um, I continually tell the players you know some of them say um, you know, we're, we're still 30, 31, we can still play. You know, there's a few of them that keep reminding me. Um, for me, if you keep playing well and we keep dominating and we keep doing the right things, then um, a young player is just as valuable as one of our older players. It's who's got the shirt, who's got the form, um, who's doing the right things. Uh, I'll always be of that opinion. And next week is the final game before the split. That's a big one. Connor's yeah. key at parkour. Big one again. and. Uh, on, on TV again and, and one that it's not one we have to worry about the players well, hopefully not because they know the importance of uh, the game and, and what it means uh, and looking forward to it you know um, early on this season we went away to Connors Key and um, you know any spectator anyone would have known um, an honest opinion that we should have won that game um, I thought we were very comfortable in the game and it was only for the, the linesman to overrule that decision to stop Greg Draper um, scoring a penalty and, and getting the three points, but it wasn't to be on that day, but let's, let's hope uh, we make up for that next week. Scott, congratulations on the win, and as always, thank you for your time. Thanks, Ruth.